Hi, we're Brian. And Elizabeth. We're walking the Camino de Santiago. We hope you'll join us on our journey. To the end of the earth. We are leaving Leon after a rest day. Uh, it was really difficult to get up and get moving this morning. It's uh, we got started about 6:30 though, um, or a little after 6:30. Um, we are heading to San Martin del Camino today. It's about 15 miles. It looks like it's uh, mostly along a highway. Um, I don't think we'll be walking on the, you know, the side of the highway. There's usually a trail uh, that just parallels the, the highway. Um, so we really liked Lyon. Uh, the cathedral was pretty cool. And um, we had a really good time. But is uh, it Friday night? What's today? Saturday. Yeah, Saturday. Um, yeah, today's Saturday. So, uh, I guess Thursday night, what was it? Yeah, it was Thursday night. Thursday yeah, Thursday night, and then yesterday we just, uh, we rested most of that. We did laundry, uh, we went into the cathedral, and uh, what else? Um, shopping. Went grocery shopping, um, because everything will be closed tomorrow, so we had to pick up some, like, lunch stuff and some snacks and stuff, so. All right, I'll show you our view as we're walking out here. We'll be, we'll be in Lyon, I think for like, I don't know, probably six miles, um, suburbs and whatnot, so. So last night we went to a um, an Irish pub in uh, Leon and watched the uh, Spain versus Germany uh, Euro Cup game. That was a lot of fun because Spain won that game. So uh, a lot of fun. It wasn't nearly as crowded. Uh, there's there weren't that many people watching actually um, at the place we were anyway. Um, I would expect like the the whole city would have come alive um for for that game but uh it didn't seem like it was that big of a deal i don't know um but it was cool to to watch the game with uh with the spanish folk that were there um so that kept us up late or later than uh, we would have normally because we uh well, the game uh went into overtime um <clears throat> but Spain won in, in overtime, so at least it didn't go to, to PKs, so.
I guess we're officially leaving Lyon and entering the suburb Trobajo del Camino. It's kind of a cool street. Nice long straight stretch. We didn't have much um, elevation today, elevation gain, but um, I think in two days we're going to start heading back into the mountains, uh, a couple big climbs. I'm sure it's difficult to see on the video, but we've got a decent, decent climb that we're doing. Uh, I think it's pretty short, but decent little incline. We've got to go up. Oh, that's cool. There's some like houses or something uh, under like hobbit houses. Coming into La Virgin del Camino. It's just a suburb of Lyon. We haven't really left uh, city streets and sidewalks uh, since we left this morning. So, This tunnel is going over a major inter or going underneath a major interstate. Get us to the other side. Check the directions. All right, another marker. 301.8 kilometers to Santiago. Just came from over there. Did a big loop to get around the, the highway here. So one of the cool things about the Camino is the people. That's the coolest thing probably. And uh, the people that we meet along the way from all over the world. And we met a couple, uh, how many days ago did we meet? Uh, at least a week ago, met uh, Arthur and Patricia from Australia. And um, we spent some time with them um, we've really seen them just probably about every day since we met them. Um, just kind of on the same same pattern and whatnot. And uh, we thought maybe we had seen them for the last time. They're going to slow down a little bit. Um, uh, so a couple of days ago, we uh, thought maybe we'd seen them for the last time. And uh, we just saw them this morning. So it's just funny how that... Lab 6, 2046. Uh, they were at a cafe... Uh, just outside they had gone I guess a little bit further than us uh, yesterday um, we, well we took a rest day so that's how they got ahead of us and uh, so we saw them again and I think then today they're also gonna they're planning to go 
one town past us, so who knows? Maybe we'll see them again tomorrow, but it's a lot of fun uh, visiting with them. And so, Two hundred and ninety four kilometers to Santiago. There really hasn't been a whole lot to video today. We've been walking along this road the entire time, even when we got outside of the city. become monotonous. I'll be so glad to be away from the road. The noise of the traffic is driving me nuts. I think we've got four more miles to get to our, uh, our goal town. If we're feeling good when we get there, we may go one more town. We, uh, Arthur and Patricia, I think, are going to the next town, so we may do that. I don't know. Let's we'll see how we're feeling. Villa Dangos del. Aramon. So we think, so our, our original target for today, um, our original target for today was uh, San Martin del Camino, but we're wondering if maybe we can push and get to um, the next town after that. Uh, apparently they're having a medieval festival there. And so that would be kind of cool to see that. San Martin del Camino. We are going to take a break here and then reassess and see if we push on to Hospital de Obrigo, I think it is, where they're having a festival over here. So let's see. All right, we are pushing on to Hospital de Obrigo to see if we can catch some of the festivities there. So we'll see. Um, I did grab uh, two beds on booking.com just in case. So we know we've got a place to stay. So we haven't been reserving beds. Um, we typically, geez, this traffic is crazy. Um, we typically just roll into town and, uh, and get a bed, but uh, since we're making the extra push here, we just wanted to make sure we had something. So. Got a bike. It's, uh... Gracias. So... 
least they had a bell on their bike so we could hear them coming some of the bikers they don't you can't really hear them coming up behind you and all of a sudden they're right at your right at your back and they expect you to jump over and anyway so at least they rung their bell before they got to us I'll be glad to get um, back on some trails out and uh, off of the off of a major fairway here highways this has been my least favorite day for hiking the Camino out of Leon to Hospital de Orbigo it's been a grind we get one of these every time we see it all right 280.6 kilometers we got the templar the templar symbols on there we're getting close to like the center of like we're going getting closer to ponferrada where the templar class uh, castle is so we're just about to the our next albergue though all right this is the bridge going into Hospital de Orbigo. Orbigo. Oh, cool. Look, at the, there's the jousting fields. I'm not sure if they have anything going on right now or not. I mean, there's nobody out there right now, but. Pretty cool. guys fishing out there. It's cool. I'll have to get the bridge from a different perspective um, when we get in, get settled in, try to get that. It's a. Uh, I'll have to figure out what the what the year was, but they it's a it's a medieval medieval bridge. Um, Apparently it's on the UNESCO um, list of protected sites or something like that, which is pretty cool. Oh, there's a big community swimming pool out there. <laughs> I wonder what time they close. bridge was built in the 13th century pretty crazy I'm gonna walk down and get a view from the other side too and the medieval festival is already over so we missed that but by a week. Oh, yeah, by a week. By a week. Yeah. yeah, apparently it was last week. The information that we were given was wrong. 